Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. For those who are here for the first time, my name is Aubrey, and for those who aren't, then you already know who I am and the deal. Anyways, it's been a while and I was really nervous even coming back because I felt like I'd been gone too long. It's just a lot of stuff has been going on. I'm not going to talk about what's been going on in this video just because this video is all about a collaboration with Johan Wegger and I hope I pronounced your name right. But guys, I have been promising to do this collab with her and I've been wanting to do it too for like two months now. We talked about it before I went on my cruise and I came home from my cruise and life just got so overwhelming and crazy and oh my goodness so she was so sweet I kept pushing it off week by week and she was just like very patient with me and very understanding so Johanna I'm so grateful to you I adore you and you're so adorable and I love your channel I'm gonna put her information down below but I'm also gonna put a little thing right here but again her name is Johan Wegger she's got the cutest videos and I love her accent and when she talks to me on Instagram I just, I don't know, I just adore her. I can't get enough of her, she's so cute. So if you guys don't follow her already, make sure you follow her on her social media platforms. But most importantly, subscribe to her YouTube channel because she does some pretty amazing makeup tutorials and she's very talented. But today, oh, whoop, I got my Christmas music going on, sorry. So um, anyway, today's video is a collaboration with Johan. We decided that we want to do a full face of NYX products. Guys, I haven't used NYX in a while, so I had to go get NYX products, but I didn't mind because who doesn't love to buy makeup? <laughs> so I had a lot of fun picking it out. It's really hard because unless you're at like, um, because they have NYX stands, standalone stores now in like Vegas and stuff, but they don't have any in Utah. So I had to go to Target to get mine and they don't have testers. So finding the right BB cream and, and like brow products and stuff to match my skin color and my hair color was kind of tricky, but I think it turned out pretty well. Um, but yeah, so I'm really excited to share with you guys this makeup tutorial. If you guys want to see how I create... Cr cr if you guys want to see how I created this look, then make sure you keep watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to me, follow me on Instagram, and turn the bell notifications on because some fun videos are coming your way from me, especially my 500 giveaway, which is long overdue. Anyways, without further ado, guys, I'm going to get into the makeup tutorial, and I hope you guys enjoy. See you soon. Don't know why I'm saying that. <laughs> To the makeup tutorial! <laughs> Alright guys, let's get right into the makeup tutorial. This time I'm going to do a little different. I'm going to do it as a voiceover because um, I've done them in the past and I've just not been a big fan of how they've turned out and they're like super long. Um, so I'm just going to start and get right into the tutorial. Let's go. Okay, here I'm using the Shine Killer by NYX to prime my face and I didn't use more than a dime size and it was plenty, maybe even a little bit too much. But I just smooth it all over my face. Now I'm going in with the BB cream. This is the shade. What shade is this? This is BBCR02 Natural. And I'm taking one of my MAC foundation brushes and I'm just getting that in all over my face. And I really love it. Like it was just such a nice natural fill and a really good coverage at the same time. So I was really pleased with this BB cream. Next, I'm going in with the HD Studio Photogenic Concealer, and this is in the shade CW03.5. And as you see, I'm doing it under my eyes, under my nose where I get red, and I've got my melasma on my upper lip, um, on my chin, and then on my a little bit on my forehead between my brows. I didn't put any on my nose today because I just felt like I didn't need it because my nose isn't that red. But now I'm going in, as you can see, with my Beauty Blender, and I'm just blending that all in. And my blue, my Beauty Blender was dampened. Now I'm fixing my hair for the 1200th time. Okay, now I'm going in with the three steps to consult. First, I'm going in with that lightest shade, and that is to go ahead and set in my concealer. And I set my nose even though I didn't use concealer. Isn't that funny? Now I'm going in with the um, the bronzer or the uh, contour color using a big fluffy brush just to really give me back some warmth on my face. 
I don't think I'm the best at using contour, but I think it looks good, so whatever. Putting it on my cheeks <clears throat> to give me a little bit of shadow, and then also on the top of my forehead, because it's so big. And I'm never really satisfied with it, so yeah, I don't know. Now I'm really quick going in just to carve out my nose a little bit, or to sculpt my nose a little bit, I should say. Um, but what, what I was saying was I'm not always so satisfied, so I always end up using a little bit more. As you can see, I'm putting just a tad bit more in, and I really just blend it all out. Fixing my hair again. <laughs> now I'm going in with the highlight, and um, it looks beautiful. It is a little bit streaky. If like you got up really close, if I zoomed in, you could see it's a little streaky. But I'm just going on the uh, my cheekbones and my like my eye, my brow bones, going in on my nose, and then my cupid's bow. <laughs> Guys, my mailman just showed up, and my windows are like wide open right now. <laughs> And that's him knocking, and that's him leaving, but he like smiled at me, so kind of awkward. Anyways, back to the tutorial. Now I'm going in with the Ombre Blush, and this is in the shade Mauve Me, 0B04. Just taking a blush brush and going in and giving me a little bit of color. It, didn't, it wasn't very pigmented, so it wasn't crazy about it, but I also like putting it on my nose as well just to give me a little bit more natural look. Oh, posing for the camera. Okay, now I'm going in with the Perfect Filter Eyeshadow Palette. I'm going in with that light shade um, to go in and just kind of give me a good base. I didn't use any eye primer or even concealer on my eyes, which I don't really ever do anyway. Now I'm going in with that light brown shade and I'm just going to go in and start adding a little bit of warmth to my eyes. And I'm using a fluffy brush to do this. Here I'm looking for another brush. <laughs> going in with a darker brown to give me more dimension. Guys, I'll be honest, I'm not that great at eyeshadow. I've just always been so overwhelmed because people are so amazing at it, but I am keep it pretty safe by using natural colors. Going back in with a fluffy brush just to blend everything in. And now I'm looking for another brush. You guys like my little Christmas decor in the back? Going in with kind of like a champagne rosy gold color just on my lid to give me a little bit of glitter, but it's not very pigmented, so I wasn't crazy about it. And then once again, just blending everything in. And then I'm going to go under my eye with the light brown and dark brown. With a little eye pencil. Just to give me a little bit of color on my waterline. Okay guys, so I'm going to get, do my eyebrows real quickly off screen. Um, but just so you know, I'm going to be using this. The NYX Eyebrow Gel in the color Brunette. I'll be right back. Eyebrows are done. And a little bit of mascara. Sorry, I did that off screen too. <laughs> but it wasn't NYX brand, so I didn't figure. I figured it didn't matter if I was filming that or not. I haven't gotten my lashes done in a while, so uh, my eyelashes themselves are pretty long. Um, so I'm pretty happy about that. But I'm just going to finish up the look with some red lipstick. So, here we go. So, the first thing I'm using for my lips is the NYX Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and definitely a Turn On Waterproof Extreme Lip Liner. And this is in the shade Red Tape. I'm going to be honest, this was one of the creamiest lip liners I've ever used. I was pretty impressed by it. And then to finish the look, I'm going in with Pin Up Pout Lipstick by NYX. And this is in the color Lucy. Now, I'm actually more of a fan of the lip liner than I am the lipstick, just pigmentation-wise. But it still turned out really pretty, so I'm pleased.
Hey guys, so here's the finished look. I hope you guys liked it. I forgot how much I liked NYX products. I mean, I wasn't crazy about all of it, but I loved the BB cream, the Shine Killer. I used to use the Shine Killer all the time, but the BB cream I'm really impressed with. Like, I really love, it's like, I just don't, I love the consistency. It doesn't make me feel like I'm wearing heavy foundation. That's the point of BB cream. But I've also wanted a second choice because I've been using the one by Glossier. But, um, you know, sometimes you like need to change. So I'm glad I found this because I'm going to start using this. I love the brow gel. I used to use that a lot too. And I haven't in a while. And I really love this lip product. Like the... The lipstick, or I'm sorry, the lip liner was creamy as heck, and it's just beautiful. So if you guys like this video, make sure you click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube and follow me on Instagram. And again, my in the, the, in the description box, I'm going to have Johan's information. Don't forget to follow her. She's got beautiful makeup tutorials. She's such a sweetheart, and she's just she's really so adorable. So make sure you go follow her too. And guys, don't forget to turn the bell notification on because I've got my 500 giveaway video coming up very shortly and I'm also going to kind of talk about what's been going on in my life so if you're interested don't forget to turn the bell notification on so you can see that and that's it for now I really enjoyed doing this for you guys I hope you liked it and I'll see you guys soon bye